Hello yogis, and welcome to today's practice. We are going to begin in an easy seat. So if you'd like, you can take a bolster or a pillow, maybe even a folded up blanket and place it underneath your bottom. This will help um, take any uncomfortableness out of the pose. You might even decide that you'd rather extend the legs fully or even be on the back. Um, just let this beginning time here be an opportunity to notice where you want to be. And remember that my offerings through class are just that, an offering, a suggestion, not a have to. So really let this be an opportunity to explore and to play with where you're at today and what will be a benefit to you, what will help you come back in to balance, whether it's in your body or in your mind. So, wherever you choose to be, if you're sitting in an easy seat, maybe you let your sits bones walk back a little bit, and then maybe you even rock a little forward and backward uh, in the pelvis so that you can really find that point where you feel the most upright through the spine. Gently stack the spine when you find that point. Let your shoulders draw down the back and then let your chin come into your throat so that you feel elongated in the back of the neck and uh, your gaze will maybe be just on the floor ahead of you or if you'd rather, you can let your eyes drift closed. And then if you'd like yogis, you can even mindfully place the hands. Palms can be down if you feel you need to be a little more grounded today. Palms could be up if you feel you could use some energy. And maybe one of each if you're over any type of decision making right now. Just take a moment here to get settled and to welcome yourself to today's practice. And right away, let's bring our attention to the breath. Without changing anything, can you notice the breath's texture? Is there a point on the inhale or the exhale that it maybe feels a little ragged? Or maybe you notice some easiness. And then can you begin to let the breath become a little more full? So just notice if you're breathing into the center of the chest and start to feel the breath move on the inhale towards your belly. You might even feel your navel expand outward. And on the exhale, will you just notice the belly button falling back down toward the spine as the breath leaves your lungs? Continuing to notice the sensation of your breath. Feeling the belly, the side body expand outward on inhale, even the back body. And on the exhale, this gentle condensing back down towards your central axis, your spine. You might begin to notice the temperature of the breath. You notice coolness on the inhale. Maybe you notice some heat on the exhale. And then let's move beyond just the breath to any sensation in the body. Is there anywhere that you're feeling a lot right now? And on your next inhale, can you maybe invite the breath into that space, allowing it to be a little more roomy? And with your exhale, can you maybe allow some of that sensation to release, invite some ease?
if your mind becomes busy. Just shift your awareness back to your breath, to sensation. Don't judge yourself for that wandering of mind as that's what the mind does. Rather, let it be a practice in bringing awareness back. Just allowing your awareness to again come back to the inhale, the exhale. Virginia Woolf wrote, where the mind is biggest, the heart, the senses, magnanimity, charity, tolerance, kindliness, and the rest of them scarcely have room to breathe. As you practice today, I want you to practice letting the mind take a back seat so that the senses, the heart, your emotions to some extent can come forward. We are very often taught, whether it's in school or a family of origin, that thinking is above feeling. And this school of thought actually does us no favors. We tend to suppress and repress emotion. And in that suppression and repression, we create other issues. Chronic stress, dis-ease, emotional turbulence, whether or not we choose to recognize it. So again, can you allow this practice to be one where you quiet the mind and stay with what you feel, whether it's in your body or your emotional center, your heart. The body holds much of what we feel when we don't let it flow through us. So in those points where you feel good, maybe you offer gratitude or appreciation. In those points that feel scary or tender, can you be compassionate and kind? And if there's ever a point where you're feeling something that you don't want to feel, know that that is also okay. and do what you need to do throughout the practice. On your next exhale, if it would please you, palms can come together, thumbs resting at your heart. Becoming curious around what you need for balance here at this time. What can you invite into your practice so that you can be present the rest of your day. And then allow this to become your sankopa, your intention, by stating it as if it's already occurred with an I am phrase. Even repeating this phrase to yourself a few times so you can really become grounded in the intention. And whenever you feel ready, yogis, you can bow your chin and blink open your eyes. And please take your hands to your knees. We're going to start off with what's called stir the pot. So we think of our pelvic bowl and circling our spine around the pelvic bowl. You'll go as big or as small as feels good to you. So let's start off going to the right. On your next inhale, you're going to lean forward. Feel your belly button in as you start to circle to the right. And maybe you even bring your chin towards your chest and reach your heart to the wall behind you as you move through the back. The exhale will take you through the left side. And then maybe you feel a little arch as your heart lifts, your chin lifts at the front. Inhale, circling through to the right, feeling that little bit of your 
cat back. And on the exhale, coming through to the left, feel a little bit of the cow back bend in your body. We'll do one more in this direction, moving as slow as feels good to you. If we are to really be with our senses, we need to slow down. Going the other way when you're ready, inhaling to the left. Again, feeling that little bit of cat back at the back of the pose. Exhaling to the right. A little bit of cow in the front. We'll take two more here. Stay with the sensation and your breath. Last one here. And when you finish your next circle, come back to neutral. You'll make your way to all fours when you are ready. Please place your wrists below your shoulders, evenly spread the fingers, rooting index finger and thumb. Remember the wrist creases are trying to be parallel to the top edge of your mat or even the wall ahead of you. And then let your knees rest below your hips. We're going through some cat-cow here. So on your next inhale, feel your belly lower. Feel the back ribs below the shoulders roll in toward the spine, helping to reach the heart forward and lift your chin comfortably. On your exhale, please push the floor away. Make as much space between you and the mat as feels right. Navel in, back of heart lifting to the sky, chin in toward chest. Your inhales, taking you through cow pose. Again, belly lowering, back ribs rolling into the spine and forward, heart forward, chin up. The exhale, pushing the floor away. Navel in, back of heart, separating the shoulder blades, chin toward the chest. Continue to move, yogis, but please, Move at such a pace where you can really stay with what you feel and even invite a pause into those areas where some kindness, some generosity might allow you to release some tension. Even notice here if you're clenching your teeth, let them part, relax your tongue and your jaw. Maybe even allow your eyes to drift closed so that they can relax. Let's go ahead and take one more round of cat-cow as long as you find it to be a benefit. And after your next cat back, you'll return to a neutral spine. We're preparing for toe stand here. Knees as wide as feels good, you'll tuck your toes. As always, yogis, you are more than welcome to stay right here, sitting back into the hips if this is where your benefit is. If you'd like to go a little bit further and it feels okay, you can stand on the knees. And if you feel a little bit more would be all right, you can sit on the heels. If you've gone too far, no big deal, just make your way back up. Stack the spine gently here, navel in, shoulders down the back. Please interlace your fingers and press the palms away. Really reach through the thumbs and let your pinkies roll back toward your chest. Feel the back of your heart reaching between the shoulder blades. And then on your next inhale, you're going to sweep the arms up. Feel the shoulders lift gently toward the ears. Continue to roll the pinkies back and reach through the thumb side of the hand. You might even let the arms move back in space a bit more. Deep breathing. And on your next exhale, release. You're going to take arms behind the back this time. You might interlace the fingers. If that's not available to you, no big deal. You can hold opposite wrist or maybe you move toward opposite elbow. Just do what feels good to you here to find some space across the heart. Shoulders down, 
draw the shoulder blades together, feel the collarbones widen. And if you have hands clasped, arms extended, feel the elbows hug and maybe even lift the hands away from the sacrum a bit. Let your chin come down to your throat, yogis. And then maybe you take your right ear softly to your right shoulder. On an inhale, bring your head up. And on an exhale, left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, bring the head back up. And on your exhale, release. Making your way back to tabletop, gently untuck your toes and feel free to drum the top of the foot on the mat. Encourage blood flow back into the feet. If you're using props today, please have them close by. And when you're ready, you're going to make your way into your down dog. Again, wrist creases parallel with top edges of the mat. Spread your fingers evenly. Stepping your feet back when you're ready, lift your hips to the sky. Let your feet be about hip width. And if you'd like, if it helps you elongate your spine, step the feet in a bit and even feel free to put a bend in the knee. You are welcome here, yogis, to do a nice, slow pedal, reaching through one heel as you bend the opposite knee. Or maybe you let it be a slow sway of your hips side to side. Maybe you choose to be still or to lift up onto the balls of the feet. Just let it be a conscious choice. Not overthinking it again. We're letting the mind be quiet but rather we're sensing around what we need today. So let's create some more strength in the arms, supporting our shape. Index finger, thumb, root down. Please feel your inner elbows turn forward toward your index fingers. And then you'll let the outer edges of your shoulder blades lift, widening your upper back. Can you allow your head to be a little more free on your neck? Maybe a little shaking of yes. Maybe you do a little shake of no. You can come into stillness at any time, yogi, so you can continue to move. And if you'd like, maybe you even yawn your mouth open and stick your tongue out to let go of a lot of that holding in the mouth and jaw. Coming back to center when you feel ready. On your next exhale, bend your knees and reach your hips to your heels as you press your hands into the floor and forward. Can you find a little extra length through your spine? Maybe even wiggle your tail to encourage a bit more. Again, relax your neck. And whenever you feel ready, an inhale will press your legs toward straight. Find your edge. Remember, balance, effort, and ease. On your next exhale, please look to your hands and make your way into a wide, powerful pose. Feet can step or you can bring knees down to make your way, whatever works in your body. With your feet at least hip width, sink the hips down. And please know again, you're welcome to bring your support in here to create a little more space, which is really what we're looking to do. The weight is in the heels, your glutes are strong, your navel in. Let your shoulders draw down and try to be a nice long line from your tailbone through the top of your head. What's your breath like here? How does it feel? Is it in the center of the chest? Can you feel it more in your belly, your back ribs? And on your next inhale, please push down and sweep your arms up. Come to standing. You can lift your heart and your chin along with the hands. Glutes strong, navel in. Maybe you feel the back ribs again roll in toward the spine, lifting your heart as you come into a bit of a back bend. And on an inhale, please make your way back to neutral. The exhale, releasing hands to heart and palms to side. We're going to keep our stance nice and wide. Look down and let all ten of your toes point forward. Root down through the big toe mounds, the picky toe edges of the feet, and your heels. 
And then notice if you're locking out your knees and put just a tiny little bend there. Well, remember, when we lock out the knees, it actually allows us to, we cut, we cut off the grounding so we aren't as, as solid in our feet. So a little bent bend there. Glutes are strong, navel in, and please take arms out to the side. On your next inhale, you're going to sweep right arm up, and you're going to take your left arm to the right. Reach through the fingers as you root your right foot and extend. On an inhale, make your way back to center, arms to the sides. And on an exhale, left arm up, right arm over. Again, root the left foot and reach through each hand. We'll do two more side to side. Inhale, find that neutral. Exhale, up and over, root to reach. Inhale, neutral. Exhale, side bend. One more set, inhale. Exhale, feeling breath nice and full. Inhale, and exhale. Make your way back to center, please. Inhale, sweeping arms up. And on your exhale, powerful pose. Again, weight in the heels. Feel your glutes strong, your navel in. And arms can stay up with biceps by ears. Or if it feels better in your shoulders, you can bring the arms toward parallel. Keep the heart lifting, the back of the neck long, chin to throat. And on your next exhale, fold, taking torso to thighs, hands to floor or support, bringing weight into the balls of the feet. Reach your thighs as far back as feels good to you. Maybe you release in the neck again, noticing what you feel. Offer breath into those areas. The inhale, inviting space. The exhale, Maybe a little release. On your next inhale, yogis, you're going to take your left foot back and we're coming into lizard lunge. In lizard lunge, both hands are to the inside of the right leg. Using blocks here will provide the space we're looking for. Do not be afraid to use your props. So here you can lengthen and widen as feels good. Your wrists are below your shoulders wherever you are. Please reach through the left heel. This will feel like the left thigh is engaging a bit more. Feel the glutes tighten, helping your foundation feel a little stronger and your navel in. Let the shoulders draw down the back. Just notice if they're bunching up by the ears and then bring your chin into your throat. And remember, we're always looking to counteract gravity, so let the heart in the back of the neck get a little longer toward the wall ahead of you. Deep breathing. Again, relax your mouth, rest your eyes a bit. And we're preparing for warrior two. On your next exhale, left heel down. Make your way up when you're ready. It's probably a little wider, warrior two, Maybe not, then you're used to. Don't worry about it. You're keeping your right knee reaching to your right pinky toe, and you're rooting your left pinky toe into the floor, kneecap up. Again, firm the foundation. Glute strong, navel in. Let the shoulders draw down the back and widen the collarbone. You can look over the right middle finger. You can look to the left. You could look in one point between the two. Noticing the depth of your breath here, the sensation in your legs. Have you gone too far? Maybe lift up and out a bit. Could you go a little further? Maybe sink into the right knee. On your next exhale, left hand to left thigh, preparing for a reverse warrior. Inhale, the right palm up. Keeping the bend in the right knee, reach through the right hand. And if you'd like here, yogis, you could even take your right hand to the back of your head, lean back into the palm and extend through the right elbow. Soft throat, relax your mouth, your gaze. On your next inhale, please make your way up. And on your exhale, hands back down to props or floor, pivot on the back toes and take your left knee down into lizard lunge. 
The glutes are engaged here. You're feeling your navel in and your shoulders down. Breathe into the front of the left thigh. Soften the teeth away from each other. Relax your tongue. And we're preparing for what's called Paragasana next. So you're going to take your left foot to the right side of the mat, like you're kickstanding, and then please come up. So your right leg stays where it is, but you might like to adjust a little bit. The toes are pointing to the top of your mat, and again, your left leg is going across the mat, so legs are perpendicular to each other. From here, please take your hands to your hips. So we're going to be working into the right thigh here. I'd like you to look at your right big toe mound and root it down. Feel the glutes strong, the navel in, and then we're going to start some little pulses here. So on your next inhale, lean the right knee toward the right toes. And on the exhale, root the right big toe mound and press back up to your neutral. Inhale, leaning to the right, big toe mounds to floor. Exhale, that rooting helping you press back. Adjust if necessary, no big deal. Stay with full breath. Let's do two more of these little pulses here. And then I'd like you to come in and stay in that lean where your knee is a little bit more over your toes. Root through both feet, the top of your left shin, and then feel everything hug toward each other so you get more engagement toward the inner thighs. Just notice that strength there. And then from here, arms up into your warrior two arms. We're going to play around with this. So I want you to continue feeling these legs hug toward each other when you're in this upright motion. From here, you're going to deviate a bit. So take your right knee towards your big toe a bit as you lean forward and then come back up to neutral. And then you're going to deviate toward the pinky toe a bit as you lean back up to neutral. Let's do two more like that, leaning a little bit, knee toward big toe mount. Feel free to pad the left knee if it's a benefit for you. And then come in toward the pinky toe, leaning the right knee that way. One more, side to side, feeling the strength in your thighs. Notice the depth of your breath. Now, whenever you finish that last lean to the pinky toe, we're going to now circle. And you're going to think of circling around the base of the foot. So feel free to move your props out of the way a bit. You're going to lean forward, thinking of knee toward big toe mound, circling around to pinky toe, and back up to your neutral. Lean, knee toward big toe, pinky toe, back up to neutral. One more this way, knee toward big toe, pinky, mount, pinky toe, neutral. And let's switch. Knee toward pinky toe, big toe, neutral. Last two, pinky toe, big toe, Neutral. Last one. And neutral. All right, you guys, we're going to play with a little balance here. So on your next inhale, lean into the right knee. And on your exhale, maybe you come up. <laughs> Didn't mean to go that big. Maybe you just bring the foot up a bit. Inhale, lean into the right side. And exhale, maybe you just take the toes off the mat a bit. Inhale, lean. Exhale, maybe toes come up. Maybe you just come onto the ball of the foot. Play with it. Again, don't overthink it. Just let this be playful. And you might even start to feel a little adventurous and want to get to a little bit more of an extended leg. We'll just do a few more here. Breath, play with it. And whenever you finish, back to neutral. Right forearm can go to right thigh, or maybe you take right hand to your block on the inside of the right leg. A little side angle here, left arm going straight up to the sky. Stack your shoulders. Feel the glutes strong, the navel in. Press right arm to leg and use that to lean back a bit in the left side body. And then maybe you take your left arm around your low back. 
left shoulder down, drawing back in space. Nice work, you guys. Remember, working the thighs helps strengthen our core, our heart, helps us become more stable all around. On your next inhale, left arm up, and you're going to make your way to a plank pose. Extend the left leg, use your props off to the side, and however works for you to come into your plank. Remember, knees can come down at any time. Shoulders away from ears, inner elbows turn forward. Root your index finger and your thumb. Navel in, glutes are strong, reach through your heels and keep your head in line with your spine. On your exhale, knees down. You're welcome to chaturanga or lower however works for you toward the floor. Keep the shoulders from the ears, your elbows softly hugging in. Untuck your toes when you get all the way down. Preparing for a cobra pose here, yogis. Feet are as wide as feels good in your back. Rooting the tops of the feet, the pelvis, and again, index, finger, and thumb. Feel your navel in, your shoulders down, your chin to your throat. Let's start off with strength in the core. On your inhale, feel the back ribs just below your shoulder blades. Roll in towards your spine and reach your heart forward. Keep the tops of the feet rooted and your chin to your throat. And then let's engage the arms a bit more. Draw the hands back helping the heart extend a bit more forward and push index fingers down. How deeply are you breathing? What are you feeling? Have you gone too far? No big deal. Just soften the pose. And on your next exhale, release. Coming into child's pose, you might like to bring your feet a little closer first. Navel in, shoulders down. Make your way up to table and press back into your variation on child pose. Knees can be wide or together. You could use a prop below your forehead. You could rest your elbows on the floor. Maybe you'd like to take a few rounds of deep breathing here. Just noticing the work that you've done. Where do you feel it in your body? And can you be kind to yourself around the work that you've done? Remember, you made it to the mat today. That is half the battle. Do not attach yourself to any type of outcome. Just do the best that you can. Know that you are enough. Whenever you feel you are ready, yogis, you're going to make your way back into down dog. Again, wrist creases parallel with top edge of mat. Spread your fingers evenly. Step your feet back when you're ready and lift your hips to the sky. Again, feet can be hip width. You can bend your knees. You could step your feet in if you'd like. Strong arms, yogis. Feel the inner elbows turning forward, the outer edges of your shoulder blades lifting. And then it's up to you. Be still, invite a little movement. Where does your body want to go? Don't overthink it. You might like to release your neck, let your head dangle. You might like to yawn your mouth open, stick your tongue out to let go of any holding in the mouth. Free up that energy. On your next exhale, looking to your hands, please make your way to powerful pose, wide stance. Weight in your heels, sink the hips, and again, feel free to bring your support in. Glutes strong, navel in, let the shoulders draw down and be nice and long from tail through crown. On your next inhale, push down and sweep the standing. Glutes strong, navel in, lifting the heart and the chin with the hands. Feeling the back ribs roll in toward the spine, heart going a little higher as you maybe come into a back bend. And on an inhale, back to neutral. 
the exhale, releasing your hands to your heart center, and then palms to side. Just take a moment to pause here. Maybe some open mouth exhales. Maybe recall your intention. Please remember, I'm just giving you some ideas for you to engage with as is appropriate for you. I would rather have you doing what's right in your body than just following along as I have to. This is not about shoulds. It's about what you need to balance and to be in your body as it is. Second side. On your next inhale, sweep your arms. Lift your heart and your chin. Going into powerful pose, exhale, sink the hips. Weight in the heels, glute strong, belly button to spine. Find the arm placement that suits you and keep long through the heart, the back of the neck. On your next exhale, continue to fold. Torso to thighs, hands to floor or your support. Let the weight come into the balls of your feet and then reach your thighs back, release your neck. And on your next inhale, yogis, right foot back into lizard lunge. Again, feel free to use your support. Invite space. Wrists are below shoulders, wherever you are. Lengthen and widen the stance to get into what you're feeling here. Reach through the right heel. Engage your glutes. Navel in. Shoulders down. And then again, get, let the chin come into the throat as the heart and the back of the neck extend forward. Soften your eyes, relax your mouth. Deepen your breath. And on your next exhale, right heel down. Make your way up into warrior two. Adjust the stance if need be. Again, keeping left knee reaching to left pinky toe. The right pinky toe firm into the floor, kneecap lifting up. Can you feel this pose becoming stronger? Glutes engaged, navel in. Feel the shoulders smooth away from your ears and widen your collarbones. What feels good on your neck here? How deeply are you breathing? And are you at your edge, that balance of effort and ease? On your next exhale, right hand to thigh, reverse warrior. Flip the left palm and inhale up and back. Keeping the bend in the left knee, reach to the sky. And if you'd like, the exhale takes left hand to the back of the head. Lean back into your palm and reach through your elbow. On an inhale, warrior two. And on the exhale, hands down, pivot on your back toes, low lizard lunge, right knee to the floor. Glutes are strong, navel in. Again, feel the shoulders down the back and keep lengthening through the heart, the top of your head. Soft mouth, deep breath. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're preparing for Paragasana. Taking the right heel foot to the left side of the mat. You might like to take blocks or support out of the way, and you might like to adjust the stance, bringing the left foot in a little bit. So just play with it, and then make your way up when you're ready. Hands to hips to begin. Remember, we're looking at the left big toe mount here, and we'll start with that lean in. Glute strong, belly button to spine. On your next inhale, begin leaning left knee forward over the toes a bit. Root the big toe mound and then push yourself back up to where you begin. Inhale, lean forward as much as feels right to you. Exhale, push back. Continue to move. Let's just do a few more here. Again, you are more than welcome to support the knee with padding 
if that helps you stay more present and takes away some discomfort. We don't need to be getting into that realm where we're unable to breathe comfortably. Nice, you guys. All right, you're going to come into that lean, knee a little more over toes, and then push left foot, top of right, foot and shin into the floor, and then feel the legs hug back to each other. Feel the engagement in the inner thigh. We're going to begin that little bit of deviating. So remember to feel this hug of inner thighs together. Arms up, inhale, pushing back. And on your next exhale, take your knee a little closer to your big toe mat. Inhale, root and push back. This time going toward the pinky toe. We'll do two more each way. Just play with what you feel, move with care. Deep breathing, you guys. Relax your mouth. Let your gaze be a little softer. Remember these usual areas of picking up tension. Can you let them go? After your last pinky toe side, we'll start to circle. Lean in toward the big toe, circle around with the pinky toe edge, end up to neutral. Two more, knee toward big toe, pinky toe, neutral. Last one this way, big toe, pinky toe, neutral. Going the other way, pinky toe, big toe, neutral. Feel the engagement, pinky toe, big toe, neutral. Take a break if you need to. Pinky toe, big toe, neutral. Back to center. All right, we're playing with a bit of balance. Adjust your stance, move support if need be. Let's keep it safe. On your inhale, lean into the big toe. And on your exhale, maybe push up, bounce a bit. Inhale and exhale. Just playing with it. Keep the glutes engaged, the navel in. And maybe you start to extend the leg a little bit and just play with balance a bit more. Let it be playful, you guys. No attachment to any type of outcome. You do what feels right. Last one. And back to neutral. You're welcome to take left forearm to thigh or hands can go to floor or block on the inside of the left leg. Arm to leg, right arm up. Try to stack your shoulders. Glutes strong, navel in. Press arm to leg and use that leverage to lean back a little bit more in the right side body. And again, if you'd like, right arm can wrap around the low back, half bind. Right shoulder down from the ear and drawing back in space. You'd like some long exhales here. Notice if you're over twisting in the neck, be kind. Some of the long exhales will help balance the breath. And on your next inhale, right arm up. And on the exhale, make your way into your plank pose. You can use the support, you can move it out of the way. Knees can come down, or you could be on forearms in plank if you'd rather. Wrists below shoulders, fingers spread evenly, stepping the feet back. Press index finger and thumb down, inner elbows turn toward them, shoulders away from ears. Feel your navel in, your glutes strong, and reach through your heels. We want to have our hips about in the same line as our shoulders, and our head in alignment with our spine. Deep breathing, you guys. On your next exhale, everyone knees down and lower to the floor as you choose. If you're going through chaturanga, again, shoulders away from the ears, elbows hug in toward the body gently. Another cobra pose here. Should you choose to take it. Feet are as wide as feels good. Tops of feet rooted, pelvis pressing down. Keep the weight in the index finger and thumb. Feel the navel to the spine, your chin to your throat. Starting off with the torso work. Just below the shoulders, feel the ribs draw down to the spine and help to roll in and forward, reaching your heart forward. Bring the chin down. Root the tops of the feet, encouraging strength in the legs. And then we'll bring the arms in. 
Root the index finger and thumb, push the floor away, and then draw the hands back, the shoulders down. Feel your elbows softly draw into your waistline. Deep breathing, you guys. Let's just take two more rounds. And on the bottom of your exhale, release. Coming into child's pose. You're welcome to bring feet in a bit. Push the floor away. Again, keeping shoulders down, navel in. Move through tabletop and into your child's pose variation. Knees as wide as you'd like. Feel free to use a prop below the forehead or to just let it rest gently toward the floor. Arms could be extended or you might like to take them back, lay them alongside the leg or even hold ankle or heel. Give yourself the opportunity to balance your breath. Long exhales. Maybe open mouth exhales to release any inward pressure. Again, don't overthink it. Just notice how you feel with the work that you've done. When we can move our body, it helps us release all of the emotion that we tend to stuff down. You might even find an emotional release accompanies your practice. That is a very common thing. Don't feel shameful or awkward around it. And if you do feel those things, I should say, feel them. It's okay. But know that it's not uncommon. Know that you're not alone. I too have cried in a yoga practice. Let it be a release, an opportunity to let go, to come back into balance. And when you're ready, yogis, you'll make your way to a seat. So we're going to come into our 90-90 pose um, a little differently today. So I'd like you to have your feet as much down on the floor as you can and let your feet be quite long away from your body. I'll show you a side variation here. So we're going to come into 90-90 from this stance. So on your next exhale, start rolling to your right, flex your feet when it feels appropriate, and then turn your torso so you're a little more squared with that top leg. And you might even like to press the heel so that you're a little more squared in that top shin. From here, you're welcome to stay upright, glutes strong, navel in, shoulders down. If you feel you'd like to go into the forward fold, please remember that little bit of back bend that we wanna keep in the body. Try not to round the spine, but to rather let the heart reach forward. So on your inhale, lengthen heart and back of neck. And on your exhale, navel in, and you decide if inviting the forward fold is appropriate. You might use a pillow, blanket, or your blocks underneath your forearms so that you can be a little more comfortable here. And you might even, if you have a block, like to use it below your forehead so you can fully release here. I like to keep the feet flexed so that I can get a little deeper into the outer right thigh. Again, shoulders down, chin to throat. With each inhale, can you let your spine get a little bit longer? Invite that back bend a bit more. And on your exhale, navel in. Can you maybe release a little bit more? Let your exhale be complete empty the lungs. If it feels like you can't breathe, come up and out. It's okay. We want to let our breath be of the utmost importance. So in the inhales, feel your belly, ribs, even the back body expand outward like a balloon. And on your exhale, feel that condensing back down as the breath totally leaves the lungs and maybe you even get a little release into the outer right hip, thigh, low back. So 
Soften your mouth, let your teeth part, draw your chin down, letting the back of the neck be spacious. We'll just take a couple more rounds here. And on your next inhale, gently press your arms to straight if they're not. And you might like to play with your hip mobility here. Arms can come up. Make your way back up to where you began. And then on your exhale, you're going to go the other direction. Begin leaning. Flex the feet. Hands down when you're ready. And again, you can adjust here, maybe making the left shin a little bit more parallel. Squaring your torso. Glutes strong, belly button in. Let the shoulders draw down as you inhale. Lengthen the heart and the back of the neck. Feel that bit of a back bend. And if it feels okay, your exhale, navel the spine. Maybe you lean forward. Find your edge. Remember, we're inviting this forward fold. We're not forcing. If you're feeling a big stretch between your shoulder blades, that's a good sign that you're rounding in the back or if your chin's coming towards your throat. I rather would like you to let your shoulders draw down and you might have to come up a bit to make this happen. Shoulders down, heart forward. This will allow the stretch to stay in the low back, the hips and the thigh where we wanna feel it. Come back to that breath. Each inhale, each exhale, holding your awareness. Noticing the quality of the breath. Can you feel the expansion in the belly, side body, back body? On the exhale, can you feel the softening of the ribs back toward the spine? And maybe where you're feeling this pose the most. Full exhale. Again, chin to throat, release the back of your neck. Soften your brow, the muscles around your eyes, even your eyes. Just a few more rounds here, yogis. Quiet the mind, stay with what you feel, be compassionate, kindly, tender. Next inhale, straighten the arms if they're not. Maybe again, playing with mobility. Hands can come up as you make your way back up to that opening pose. And then extend the legs from there. Our forward fold today is going to be nice wide angle. I say nice because it's a little more gentle on the hamstrings than a closer leg. Adjust as necessary. You're going to flex your feet. Feel your thighs press down. You are welcome to stay upright, wrists below shoulders, if your low back has concerns, okay? On your next inhale, shoulders down, everyone. Lengthen through the heart, the top of the head. And on your exhale, navel in. You decide if leaning forward is appropriate for you today. Each inhale, heart forward, link through the crown. Each exhale, belly button in. Can you let go a little bit more? And if you not, if you cannot, can you just know that that's okay? And to be with what is. Very often, again, when it comes to our emotion, what we feel, we deny it or we avoid it. We eat our emotions. We drink them away, we numb. And this can very often create more, it can create more issues than if we'd simply try to just let the emotions flow through us. 
you practice just being with what you can feel, even if you can't name it. Give yourself tenderness and compassion around what you feel. Be generous to yourself in those times when your emotions are tender. And in those times when your emotions are light and happy, can you have the appreciation and gratitude for those as you notice them? Last couple rounds of breath here. It's not an easy process. We're not really taught to be with our emotions in this way. But we can relieve a lot of suffering to the short term by just being with our feelings, quieting the mind, and letting our heart and our gut lead the way. On your next inhale, gently walking your hands up, torso up. And when you're ready, you're going to make your way down to your back. You're going to come into one bridge pose and then a final twist here. So for your bridge pose, heels are below your knees. And again, if it feels best in your low back, know that you can widen your feet from there. Arms are alongside the body. Please fill your belly button to your spine. Let your shoulders tuck under the back of the neck be long. On your next inhale, drive your knees down to lift your hips up. You're going to root the whole of the foot. Really feel, really feel the inner foot push down. And then feel your heels draw back, engaging the thighs a bit more. You can keep your arms as they are, or maybe roll the shoulders under. You might even like to clasp the hands below the back and reach your knuckles to your heels, if that feels okay. As your inner feet root down, feel the outer hips lift a little higher. And then again, maybe feel the back ribs just below the shoulder blades. Move into the spine and lift your heart towards your chin a bit more. Deep breathing. Try to be soft in the throat and the mouth, your gaze. And on an exhale, release the hands and take a very slow roll down, vertebra by vertebra, trying to touch each into the mat as best you can. Your belly button coming in will help you articulate through the low back. Can you let your sacrum be the very last thing to come down? Pause when you reach the bottom. Let your body absorb the back bend. Take some deep breaths. All right, we're preparing for this final twist. And we're going to go into twisted roots. But as always, if this twist does not feel good to you, you are more than welcome to come into any twist variation you'd like. In fact, you might even like to leave the legs as they are and drop them to the side in this manner. If you're coming into twisted roots, arms to a T, take your heels below your knees. And then you're going to cross right thigh on left as much as feels good to you. We're going to look for a little room in the spine. So please lift the hips up and sit them to the right. And then on your next exhale, navel in, lower both legs to the left. Remember, we want to keep the right shoulder anchored. So you could use your right foot as a kickstand so that you don't go too far. Maybe left hand lightly sits to outer right thigh. Maybe your head rolls to the right softly. And maybe with right palm up, you drag the right arm up on a bit of a diagonal, just looking for a little more space across the right side of the heart, shoulder. Notice all that space in the right low back to inhale. And feel a full exhale. Maybe your body releases down a bit more. Notice 
Notice if your mind is wanting to wander here and just stay with your sensation a little bit longer. Nice, you guys. Arms back to a T, navel to spine. And on an inhale, bring your legs back up. And in whatever order feels good to you, unwind the legs, square the hips. Second side, when you're ready, left thigh on right, hips picking up, moving an inch or two to the left, navel in, the exhale, lowering both legs to the right. Again, keep your left shoulder anchored. Use your left foot as a kickstand if that will be a benefit. Maybe right hand to outer left thigh. Maybe head rolls to the left. Maybe you drag the left arm, palm up, to a bit of a diagonal. Inhale deeply into the left low back. Exhale fully to let your body soften down. Remember what we practice here. We hope to take with us through our day. We tend to be over thinkers. This lends itself to our anxiety, our depression, our lack of presence here and now. So can you practice balancing a little bit more? to notice when you overthink and allow yourself to come back to breath, to how you feel, whether it's in your heart or in your body. Allow yourself some kindness and some compassion. On your next exhale, you'll use arms to a T, navel to spine, lift the legs back up when you're ready, unwind, square as it pleases you. You're welcome here, yogis, to bring knees into the chest, holding hamstrings or shins. You could rock and roll here. You might even like to come up into a ball and give yourself a little squeeze. If there are any final poses that will help you complete your practice, Please know you're welcome to go into them. If you're ready to move into your relaxation pose, do that. Again, letting legs be as wide as feels good. Maybe pinky toes heavier to the floor, allowing your hips to release a bit more. No, you can let a bolster or a pillow be underneath your knees to release any low back discomfort. Letting the upper back, your shoulders, be as smooth to the floor as you're able. Mindfully placing the arms, maybe palms rolling up to release the shoulders even more. And allow the back of your neck to be long as your chin draws down. You can close your eyes, or you can just let the gaze soften toward the sky. Not really seeing the ceiling, but the space just ahead of you. Allow your breath to be natural and nourishing here. And just notice how your body feels. the energy of your body. Put the weight of your head into the floor. And allow some of the tension of the mind to release. Feel some ease. your shoulders release down, can you feel the heart space widen? Elbows, 
backs of the hands, heavy to the floor. Can you mindfully soften each of your 10 fingers? Can you even become aware of the tips of each of the fingers? Traveling your awareness back up to the forearms, the upper arms, to the top of your spine. Allow your awareness to travel the length of the spine. Any discomfort you have there, acknowledge it. Offer compassion to those areas. Maybe a little longer, exhale. Loving touch of awareness to the low back and the belly. And let your hips release down even more. As you feel any tension in the hip, hips release, can you let that softness flow into the thighs, the tops, the bottoms, the inner and the outer? You relax your knees in the space behind them. Feel the heaviness of your calves into the floor. Soften your ankles, the tops of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, even the arch. Relaxing each of your ten toes. With each exhale, feel your body soften down and spread wider into the floor, toward the earth. And with each inhale, feel the front body become lighter and brighter toward the sky. Stay with what you feel as you rest here in Shavasana. to continue resting here, you are more than welcome. If you feel ready to reawaken, gently bring your awareness back to your breath, to your body, and invite easy movement when you're ready. Maybe rocking the head side to side, maybe wiggling fingers, toes, gradually letting that movement become larger. You might eventually decide a full body stretch would feel pretty good. You're welcome to roll to either side in fetal position if it would please you, or you can pause. And when you feel you're ready, strong arms will help you up to a comfortable seat. If it would please you, palms can come together, thumbs resting at your heart. Taking some time here for gratitude. For this opportunity to practice quieting the mind, and being with what you feel. Can you recall 
maybe two or three other things that you are grateful for and really move beyond just the idea of these things and into what that feeling of gratitude is in your body. How do you notice it? The love and the light in me recognizes and honors the love and the light in each of you. And when we are in this space, we are one. Namaste, Yogi. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope this finds you well.